Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt Trendover 9943. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick little overview here on the new Atlas quote unquote premier catalog that they have here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down my highlights of the catalog, just scroll through it. I'll put the link in the description. And also, in a couple weeks here, we're going to do a podcast on this for the Matt and Matt O Scale Train podcast. So, if you haven't checked us out on Podbean or Facebook or any of the other places we're at, please do. I will link in the description the podcast links so you can check out all of our episodes. Uh, we got a bunch of people on, DJ, Sid, Johnny, Matt C, you name them, they're on there. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump right into this, though. So. And Matt and I, will do a full, we'll go page by page and talk everything in the podcast, but I'll just kind of go through everything. So, uh, all this premiere stuff you're going to see is all XMTH stuff. So, uh, the engines are going to come with Proto 3, and all of the cars are basically MTH quality in Atlas boxes. So, that's what they're going to be. So, we got the 44 tonner here. Really cool. Uh, it still does not look like they have fixed pilots, which blows but oh well you can see in the feature list it's literally the carryover from MTH here's SD40-2s I believe all of these are made in one or two numbers I believe Really nice looking. All right. Next up, we have some PS1 box cars. These are really cool. I'm definitely gonna be ordering a couple of these. The uh, New York Central Pacemaker. That one is fantastic. I really like that a whole lot. The UP one is nice too. All right. Now I got the. Here we go. The uh, two bay offset hoppers. Uh, these are nice. These are in four numbers each. Uh, which is kind of cool, so you can make a nice long string of coal cars if you want. Um, the NW ones are really cool. I know Sid's looking forward to those. So, uh, those will definitely be on his uh, pre-order list. As for me, the NW are cool. I kind of wish they would have done like a Pensy or something, but oh well. They are very nice, though. Next up, we have the Premier Gunderson 50-foot high cube box cars. I know these are going to be stupid when they come out. People have been wanting these for years. I mean, you go to the secondary America, you try to find this this uh, yellow TTX, go for like $170 a car. And that's being nice. They are ridiculously expensive. I mean, they're stupid expensive and really hard to find. So, I don't know. I may look into one or both. Uh, this breast cancer one's really nice too. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, air slide hoppers, I don't, I'm going to pass on these, but they're nice cars nonetheless. The BNSF one's nice. <laughs> and I've got these, these 8,000 gallon tank cars. These are awesome. This generic beer one is just so funny. I, I love that one. That one's cool. And then the PBR one, I'm probably going to go in for one, at least one number each. And that's a definite. There's a couple more. And then this is the new item in this catalog for Atlas, which is the Auto Rack car, which I think is kind of interesting. It says it's full scale, which that's cool. And it runs on 042 curves for three rail. So I'm curious to see how they're going to do that. If they're going to do like a kinematic coupler like Lionel does or what, but... You can see in the in the feature list, you know, diameter curve for three rails, 42. So that's really interesting. These uh, UP one is really cool. I'm, if I had the funds, I would do all four to make a nice auto rack train for my uh, SD70 ACs I have. Then we got some other Atlas stuff. We got the kits. Those are pretty cool. Uh, this gas station kit. 
Then we got some uh, PS1 box cards. These are the ones with the holiday lights. Uh, we got a Halloween, a Thanksgiving, and the Christmas. The Christmas one's really nice. These aren't bad prices, too. Then we got the Golden Spike Club. So, pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice catalog for what it is. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a full podcast with Matt on it. Uh, West Chicago Model Railroad is who I do the podcast with. And um, we'll be sure to get all of our thoughts uh, on this catalog. It's really nice. Um, for a modern person, it's really nice. For a steamer guy, kind of like me, it's cool. Um, the, the stuff in here is great. Um, it's not really all for me, but like I said, I'll give my full thoughts on the catalog in the podcast, which I will link when it's done uh, in this video's description. So check out that when the podcast is up. And I'll probably do an announcement or something like that on uh, YouTube. Just a quick little blurb on one of my videos after this. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, stay tuned for the podcast for the full thoughts. But anyway, guys, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.